Neil Armstrong here, first to the moon. Just going to one of the very first houses in Terrell and really Kaufman County of Dr. Griffith. I'm going to map to earn it and uh, make a little money by mapping it. First, I'm creating a sim basically like a geolocated exact um, up down to 20 centimeters of this property. I just paid a little bit to do it, but more importantly, um, it's going to pay for me to buy this little property in the metaverse. And it's part of my bigger project around these historical sites, setting up scenes, um, augmented scenes uh, to get more in-depth and immersive experience. So you can, um, I've done a bunch of research on this property. Um, so you'll be seeing pictures and um, there'll be a narrated version telling you all about it. The lineage of Dr. Griffith and how he worked on Sam Houston's leg at the bat after the Battle of San Jacinto. He was the original doctor that took care of all the people that were in the Alamo. It's pretty pretty cool store, there's a lot to it, but going around and these different historical sites and I'm going to make a scavenger hunts as well as just more immersive experiences uh, for people that come visit these sites so they can just see more than just the home and a little writing about a brief history and of course every time they they want to watch it it'll be token gated so they have to have the NFT that I created um, to watch the to watch to experience the event maybe it'll be a dollar less more who knows um, but the point is I'll get a little bit of revenue every time someone goes to one of these sites and wants to watch the And what you have to do is you go to the end and they want you to like kind of turn around. It's still. Just, just trying to follow these little arrows. But when I first started doing this, um, the, the map to earn feature was just little treasure chest across the city. You just kind of take your phone out and just walk around. Um, you'd see one pop up, you kind of walk near, and it was just kind of uh, the technology was able to map the uh, environment geolocation went to a six meter radius. As I mentioned earlier, with the new mapping that literally just came out at, on New Year's Eve, I was pretty excited about, you can take it down to 20 centimeters. So as you map this out, you can put um, you know, whatever it is that you create your artwork on a specific, you know, for example, if I wanted to put something, you know, on this plant here, say I wanted to have like a bug crawl around that or something, who knows, a snake in the bushes, I could put it right there on that plant before you could, couldn't do that. But the cool thing is, I'm just getting paid to do this, so as you do your walks throughout the day, make a little money, or as you go to go places that are special to you, kind of map it out, create your own little, little scene. Then the rest is up to your imagination. I'm going to have, as I mentioned, some pretty cool scavenger hunts throughout these different 
historical events or historical sites that'll be uh, some easter eggs in each of the the scenes that if the people want to do the scavenger hunt um, they could try to take part in that again the app is called over the reality O B like Victor E R the reality it's in Google and and uh, Apple Play Store and it uh, integrates to the GameStop wallet so that's how I purchased the lands and the GameStop wallet holds my NFTs um, so when you do buy a purchase one of these um, little hexagons you can name it and do whatever but ultimately you own it you can rent it out and you can sell it but nobody can take it from you so that's why i have the fidelity files i've placed them there because i'm going to uh, continue uh, putting together all the information that i have uh, from my experience with fidelity and post it there so that no one can take it down without except for me uh, you know i could try to sue fidelity i'm sure i could probably make some money but it's not what it's about i'm not litigious i'm just trying to share my experience so people can know um, what happened it's not to say that your experience will be the same at all every pe every person's experience might be quite a bit different with fidelity but this is just what had happened to me So I think that's pretty good for, I'm gonna stop mapping now. Let's say if you wanna save it. Congratulations, you're ready. You want to upload it. It'll be uploaded. You can kinda of see these are ones I've um, been mapping for the last couple of days. Need to upload them. This is the funniest one. DirecTV Alameda. It's just weird with everything that's going on with Alameda Research and FTX and SBF I'm like what in the world they imagine they had a big probably uh, investment in this at some point who knows it seems like everything crypto they had their hands on in some, some way or another you also have treasure hunts that's what I kind of mentioned earlier where there's just treasure place throughout as you just kind of walk around and you see one was right behind me different ones you can get them um, there you get the OVR token as anyone knows you could easily swap the OVR token and within GameStop wallet if you wanted to um, if I had some in there you just oops. Ethereum and I could just swap it out if I wanted for any other um, in this case it would be OBR but say if I just want to do my Ethereum and I want to swap it for OBR you could easily do that or vice versa again this is inside the wallet non-custodial wallet layer two so it's super super cheap maybe one penny do this a few pennies to send things compared to layer one um, built on top of ethereum so you get the same security features as ethereum um, but with that layer two again it's all done within the wallet you never leave um, so like other layer two they're really not even um, the same in terms of roll-ups but say polygon Layer 2 network, it's a side chain, it's not really a layer 2, so you're kind of sacrificing security for uh, speed, really. Um, that's not something that I would want to do coming from the cybersecurity industry. Um, so um, I really love this technology within the GameStop wallet, which is built on the Ethereum blockchain, I mean, built on loop, loop rings. Uh, wallet technology layer two and uh, super fast and quick and DeFi 
so you never have to. it's never on exchange or anything like that.